I'm Mike Diskin, Managing Director of Alifaction Numerical Controls. We manufacture roll grinders specifically for the rubber coated roll industry. The market is becoming more competitive, we have strong competition from the Far East, but the Made in England label still carries a lot of weight with customers. They appreciate the quality, accuracy and simplicity of our machines. Now, recently we won a large order from a company based in Thailand. They looked at many machines from Taiwan, Japan and the USA that chose the HNC design for its accuracy and simplicity of use. We've been using Omron equipment for about four years now. Previously we've been using dedicated CNC controllers. While these are very good for the machine tool market, they lack the user friendliness and flexibility for our designs. I'm Ian Knight, I'm a field application engineer with Omron Electronics. I'm here supporting HNC in the development of their new machine. The machine control system is configured using an Omron Sysmac NJ301 machine controller. It uses two servo axes, two inverters, all connected on a single EtherCAT network. We also incorporated a traditional electronic hand wheel into the machine for manual axis control. This was also connected to the control system using an EtherCAT encoder interface module. My name is Nigel Hattersley, I'm the project manager for HNC. What makes the RG300 different is that we use a highly graphical operator interface which makes the operator uh, be able to pick up his profiles from a, a menu. We create and store new roll profiles by uh, using an external package. The operator doesn't have to know any CNC programming, it just fills in the, uh, the data from this package and transfers it to the SD card and we can handle up to 900 profiles. Users don't want to manually create a profile program as this can lead to the possibility of errors. Therefore we developed a graphical user interface to make programming simple. In Thailand the skilled labour is at a premium. They often use labour from surrounding countries but they don't speak the local language. Uh, where text is needed we can switch between 16 different languages at the touch of a button. The SysMac controllers integrated Ethernet communications allowed us to interface directly to a third party wheel balance control system. The operator is then able to control and monitor the wheel balancer system directly from the machine operator interface without the need for the third party system's operator display. Now that all servos and inverters are connected on a single EtherCAT network, we have access to all drive parameters within the machine control program. This allows us to modify parameters based on the component being machined. We also have access to real-time drive data to monitor machine performance. The EtherCAT network cabling has simplified panel wiring. This reduces potential for cable faults, speeds up testing and commissioning. Working with HNC's engineers and the new SysMac Studio development environment, we were able to develop the RG300 ahead of schedule. The SysMac improved the performance of the RG300. Uh, it used to take about 10 seconds to produce all the data for a profile uh, with the old system. With a new one, it does the profile instantaneously. We used to use a serial interface between the HMI and the inverters, but to program the inverters, we'd need a, se uh, an, a separate package. We can now do it through the EtherCAT, where we can program the inverters up from SysMac Studio, and we can change data from the HMI, which makes fault finding uh, a lot easier and it, that can be displayed on the HMI. For our new RG300 machine we wanted to simplify the operation even further with the ability to create roller profiles offline and upload them directly into the controller. We decided to adopt Omron's SysMac machine controller as this provided a far more flexible platform for motion control, data handling and remote accessibility. We are confident that the SysMac platform is more than flexible enough to grow with us as our machine designs evolve. Prior to deciding which control equipment to use, we had a meeting with Omron who recommended a powerful, flexible and cost-effective solution. <laughs>